going into your PhD program at Stanford, how did you reconcile your engineering background with the expectations of becoming a social scientist? So I was very fortunate. I did my PhD in the engineering school at Stanford for a group that specializes in business strategy and the social sciences. So they had a lot of experience dealing with people like me. <laughs> um, so they realized that you're gonna go take a course in sociology or education and you're gonna go read all these philosophers and you'll have no, you'll have limited understanding the first couple of weeks because you haven't been reading all this material as an undergraduate. Um, and so there was a lot of patience there on the part of the instructors. Um, but at the same time, I, I think as an engineer, you bring a real focus on problems. We know what we want to design. Here's how we can use the tools, be it mathematics or so forth, to solve this problem. So I think that's what I brought to the table. What I was then able to take uh, away from the table, if you will, was learning how to use sort of their rigorous understanding of how do people interact with one another. Because that's something I have to admit, engineering doesn't spend as much time thinking about, uh, at least classical engineering. Yeah. And so I think really trying to meld those two, of the problem solving from the engineering with the social scientist view of a rich understanding of how people interact.